Hi, everybody. Uh, today we are going to be trying to answer the question, um, what type of wave travels faster, a transverse wave or a longitudinal wave? So those are our two major types of waves that you guys looked at yesterday. Um, and we're going to do a little lab experiment today, uh, which I did most of the work for you, um, to try to see which one is traveling faster. So yesterday when you were looking at wave types, you saw that there are two major kinds. Transverse waves are the ones that you think of like an ocean wave. Um, and that's how um, light waves travel. So anything that we're seeing travels in a transverse wave. And then longitudinal waves are also sometimes called compression waves, where they travel more like a slinky, where they have areas of compression and areas of expansion, and they travel um, that way. This is how a sound wave travels. So we have transverse waves, longitudinal waves, and we are looking today, does a transverse wave or a longitudinal wave travel faster? The way we're gonna do this, or the way you're gonna do it is you're gonna watch me do the experiment, which is that I went out into my front yard and um, out on the road, and me and my husband stood as far away from each other as we could where you could still see me. And I took two uh, pieces of wood and I clapped them over my head. Um, and I did this a few different times and you're gonna watch. And what you're looking for is um, you wanna look for when do the boards touch and when do you hear the sound? So when the boards touch, when you can see that, that's when the light waves are getting to you. And when you can hear it is when the sound waves are getting to you. So this first one here is me. Um, this one's in regular time. So we're gonna look for when they clap and listen. So I'm gonna play it one more time for you. You're watching for when they touch, the difference between when they touch and when you hear it. And you're looking, does that happen at the same time? Which one happens first? Do you see it first or do you hear it first? One more time. Now we'll slow it down a little bit and we'll watch it in slow motion. I know I'm very, it's, you gotta be far away to do it. So it's hard to, to um, see me, but I'm down there in the road. That one's a little more difficult to hear. I'll post the original video um, that we took too, so you can go back and watch that one. Um, but hopefully you're, you're able to see um, that, that those two waves aren't traveling at the same speed. You're either gonna see the boards hit first or you're gonna hear the sound hit. So you can go back and watch those videos if you need to. But then what I want you to do is I want you to answer these three questions. You can make me a Google Doc or you can just send me an email with the answer of these questions. Um, you're going to answer what type of wave travels faster. Does a transverse wave or a longitudinal wave travel faster? Number two is why do you think one type of wave travels faster than the others? So this is a hint I'm going to give you. It has something to do with your third vocabulary word yesterday, um, which was medium. So if you think about what a medium is, it might help you answer question number two. And then question number three is just, is there anywhere else in your everyday life where you've experienced this phenomenon of one wave traveling faster than the other? And there's a couple uh, things that you might think of or things that you might Google um, to help you explain uh, this phenomenon. So that is uh, your lab for today. You're welcome that I did most of the hard work for you. I went outside in the rain um, to show my dedication to science. So uh, you guys just answer these three, watch the videos, answer the three questions, um, and email me your answers. Have a good day, guys. Bye.